Well, the Agungwa Playhouse continues its summer-fall season with the world premiere of Mystic Pizza, a new musical going on now through October 2nd. It's at the Leary Pavilion, which is right adjacent to the Playhouse on Route 1 of the Agungwa, Maine. You can check out all the information on uh, their website, agungwaplayhouse.org. I had a chance to go to opening night. Fantastic show, and you will love the music. You know all about it. You've seen the movie, probably, the 1988 romantic comedy that launched the career of Julia Roberts. Uh, and, of course, Mystic Pizza is a real place in Mystic, Connecticut. And Mystic Pizza features uh, Christina Alabato, Kira Kennedy, and Gianna Yanelli. And we're joined by one of those fine, young, talented ladies. Christina Alabato joins us this morning. Christina, thanks for waking up with us today. We appreciate your time. How are you? Oh, I'm so good. I'm so happy to be here. I love I love uh, chatting about the show, and I'm, just, I'm so happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, is this your first time uh, performing at the Agunqua Playhouse? Yes, yes. Um, you know, I've heard about Agunqua Playhouse for, you know, forever, my whole career, and it's just really cool to be up here. Um, the, the area, I've never been to Maine, actually, and um, just in this area and the ocean being so close. I mean, it has been such a nice couple of weeks. I have a couple of weeks left here um, and I'm absolutely loving it. And, you know, Agungwa Playhouse right now, we're doing the show in a huge tent outside and I've never done theater outside. So it's, it's a pretty cool experience for me. Very different. Yeah, well, they decided to keep people safe, and I get it, and I understand. It was a trying time. They had to cancel everything last year in 2020, but they wanted to do the best they could to bring back theater and the arts. Of course, Broadway has opened up again, which is nice. Uh, I'm a big supporter of the arts. I love the musicals. I love the shows. Great to see the people are coming back, but, you know, we still got to be safe. So they decided to create this, you know, pavilion. They got some great donations, and they made it the Leary Pavilion, which is just outside you know, the Agunqua Playhouse, outside, as you say. It's a beautiful spot. Uh, it seems to w- be working with everybody, between the actors and the audience members. Everybody seems to be pretty good about it. First time in Maine, I hear, correct? Yes, yes. And, God, I love it here. I just, I'm literally looking out my window right now, and I saw it looking at this huge like stork like bird it's just like a cool place i feel like there's beautiful trees and greenery i'm from arizona so me and trees i'm like oh my gosh it's so green here and then five seconds away is the ocean and so i'm kind of in heaven around to be honest (laughs) well christina welcome to new england enjoy it while you can it's beautiful it's beautiful especially especially as we get into the fall season and you guys will be here through the through the first few days of fall and uh it's just a a really fun time to see the the leaves change and uh it's it's you're in a very very Treasured spot. Agunquit, Maine is a beautiful uh, tourist spot as well. Mystic Pizza. Of course, a lot of people remember the movie from 1988 that uh, we didn't even know who Julia Roberts was at the time, but she she got her kind of her start in that particular movie. And they kind of took this movie and they made it into a musical. How did it all turn out to be into a musical? And how did they pick the songs, the great music from the 80s and 90s to fit into the into the script of Mystic Pizza? Yeah, you know, it's it's um, it's a musical that was sort of uh, created within the pandemic. I was I uh, started working on this actually back in January um, of 2020. We had a or 2021, excuse me. We had a big um, a reading on Zoom, so a musical theater world. With, in the first stages of a new musical, you sit and you read it aloud with a bunch of actors and you sing the songs just for the writers and the creators to get an idea of oh, is this working? Is this flowing right? Does this song fit here? Um, and developing the show. So we worked on that for about three weeks in uh, in the winter, and from that is kind of where this all started. It's been a quick process for a musical. Usually a musical can take years and years to develop. And the fact that we're on stage right now doing a new full musical out of a pandemic, I mean, it's pretty miraculous to me. Um, Every night on stage, I just look out and I'm like, wow, I can't believe we're here after all of this. Um, I was in a Broadway show when the shutdown happened. So my heart is just so happy to be back on stage doing a show. Um, But, you know, as far as how they pick the songs, it's kind of fun. There was a catalog of so many amazing hits from the 80s and 90s and they kind of handpicked each song that they thought would fit in whatever moments they had in the show. It's just pretty cool. Yeah, we're speaking to a Christina Alabata, who plays Daisy in uh, Mystic Pizza, a new musical at the Agunqua Playhouse now through uh, October 2nd. You can check it out by going to uh, agunquaplayhouse.org to find out all the tickets. The three of you, the three uh, main uh, female characters, wonderful voices. Congratulations to all of you. You you have brought these arrangements of some of these familiar songs to a new level. I, I find it fascinating. I was there opening night. I really enjoyed it. And it just seems like this is just a fun, fun show for the actors. You guys, I know you've worked hard, but this has to be a lot of fun performing every night, this particular show. Oh, my gosh. It's the most fun, especially because, again, we're out in the pavilion and I can kind of see the audience a little bit. And I can tell that people are jamming to the songs. They're super into the story. It's just a fun night. At the end of the show, we're all standing up, cast and audience, clapping and singing together. And it's just a really awesome time to bring people together. 
Um, and it, it's just, I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I don't want it to end. So yeah. great. Well, we're glad to have you here at the Agunquit Playhouse. I mean, you've, you've been on Broadway with Mean Girls. You've got to be happy that Broadway is finally opening up with the right precautions, but Broadway shows are opening up after 18 months of being closed. You've got to be happy about that. Absolutely. I, I'm sad that my show, Mean Girls, did not make it out of this pandemic, but I'm just happy to see friends and colleagues returning and for Broadway to be turning its lights back on. It's time. And like you said, with the right precautions and things, we're hoping that it's going to be a safe and seamless kind of go back into into having live theater again in Broadway. And I'm just happy. My, my husband actually is in a Broadway show, and he started rehearsals last week. So it's pretty special that we're getting back to we're doing what we love. Wonderful. Mystic Pizza, yeah. the new musical at Agunquit Playhouse. We're speaking to Christina Alabado. She plays Daisy. Have you ever been to the real Mystic Pizza in Mystic, Connecticut? Just asking. <laughs> No. Oh, my gosh. I want to go so bad. I hear it's actually not too far from here. So maybe I'll get there before I leave. Well, it's a few hours down the coast. But uh, a lot of people don't realize that it is a real place, though, correct? It's a, right. It's a real place. Which yes, is- yes. The props that we use in the show, the, the pizza boxes that you see on stage and the menus, those, those are all from the pizza, the actual place. Isn't in that funny? Connecticut. Isn't that mm-hmm. funny? <laughs> this is this is kind of wild stuff, and it, it's really great. The music is just so fun to listen to. And, yeah, I was in the audience, too, and I was, you know, knowing all the words to all the songs and just seeing people's reactions. And it was just, it's just a fun time. And I hope people will get a chance to go. It's outside at the Leary Pavilion. Uh, you do have to wear masks when your bodies are in motion, but you don't have to wear masks when you're, when you're seated down at your seats and everything is uh, uh, staggered so you can see straight view to the theater. It's pretty nice. It, they've done a, a, a great job being creative in creating this outdoor pavilion so they can continue with the, uh, with the music and the shows this year, which I think is fantastic. Absolutely. It's such an innovative way I, I, to, to bring theater to everybody. And I, as an actor, it's really fun to do a show in a tent. I've never done that before in a huge pavilion. And the sound is amazing. I, that's what I hear back from people is that it sounds incredible, even though we're in this huge tent. Um, and it's just, it's like a, I don't know. It's a great night. I hope everybody comes and sees it. You have two weeks left, and it's it's worth it, I promise. Oh, it's it's just a lot of fun. It'll take you back to a good time in your life in the 80s and 90s. If you grew up in the 80s Absolutely. and 90s with that type of music, it's going to be a fun time. And uh, and like I said, uh, the Gungwood Playhouse is noted for great sets, great musicals, indoors or outdoors, and they have made the transition to outdoors at the Leary Pavilion. Christina, thanks so much for joining me today and your insight onto this. Uh, welcome to New England. I hope you have a great stay the rest of the run. It's been fun, and uh, you guys seem to have been having a great time, and I hope people will get a chance to see Mystic Pizza, the new musical at a gunkwit. Thanks so much, Christina. Appreciate your time today. Thanks for having me. Bye-bye.